Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rise of Mordor battle for you and today we are showing off a mod that includes another Dwarven faction, it includes this faction, the Dwarves of the Red uh, Mountains. So I'm not really sure where they are in the world, if they are a, a actual real faction, I mean they basically look like the normal Dwarves from Erebor but they've just got like red armour instead. Um, there are three, no maybe f four units, uh, there's about six units actually. So about three of which are being shown here. Um, there's Axe Warriors of the Far East, uh, a lot of them. Uh, Spear Guards of the Red Mountains, and there should be another one. The Grim Hammers, obviously. You've got, got to have the Grim Hammers, whatever Dwarven faction you are playing as. Um, so yeah, I think the plan is for the, the developer is going to add several more uh, units after like a certain update. Um, I think about another four units will be added, so maybe some crossbows, because they haven't got any crossbows, they've got onagers and supply wagons, um, and they've got no crossbows. But anyway, the Dwarves of the Red Mountains, we'll let it play while we're doing that, are up against um, the Dunedain, it would seem. A very strange scenario, I mean, and they're at Constantinople. Well, equally strange why they're in uh, the real world, not in Middle Earth. But, um, but yes, the Dunedain are here, and... Uh, Using the Fives of Mordor, uh, not Fives of Mordor, I always say this, Fives of Gondor mod. But yes, so here we are, and the Dunedain are here, and they look goddamn sexy. I mean, we've seen these guys before um, with the Grey Company, they look exactly the same really, the Dunedain are like, uh, well, the Grey Company are offshoot of the Dunedain. They look very, very cool. Look at the general unit, he must be good. If he's 40 men in a unit and he's an infantryman, he's got to be good, and this guy, I wouldn't mess with him. He looks pretty damn good. So it is a fairly, um, well, it's a pr pretty long one by looks what 58 minutes so I mean get yourself some snacks and some drinks and uh, get ready for an interesting one I would like it'll be interesting to see how good these uh, new dwarves are whether they are any different to the uh, Erebor ones or maybe they're stronger maybe they're worse who knows I imagine they'll be fairly similar and they, I imagine maybe have some buffs possibly I mean these Dunedain are gonna be hard to break through look at that look oh my gosh if it will let me look at it goddamn camera this is the pain I go through. Here we go. Oh, you know what? Oh, they look cool. We'll see it in a minute when they break open the goddamn gates. God, you just ruin it for me. But um, yes, I mean, I imagine a lot of these towers are going to get beaten up on the way here. But I mean, they look like they're actually they look like they're going to be perfectly fine. It looks like we're going to have some axe warriors of the far east to come first. I presume that these dwarves are in the obviously the east. Beyond probably like Erebor and the Iron Hills, are probably even further to the east. Um, yeah, I've never heard of them. I th um, if anyone knows any information on like the Red, uh, the Dwarves of the Red Mountains, then please like, do let me know. It'd be interesting to find out some more stuff on the this sort of part of the world of Middle Earth. Um, but I mean, yeah, the balance power is massively not in is massively uh, in the Dwarves' favour. It would seem. Probably because they have a lot of infantry, they don't have much else. Oh, I mean, look at this. They're getting absolutely peppered, though, here. The Dunedain do have this. They have great archers, and they are going to... Uh, I mean, look at this guy here at the front boss now. He's not even messing around. Yes, yeah, so they're going to have to make the uh, dwarves pay for having no... Me just having melee of their own. So, I mean, it's not the dwarves' fault, it's just the roster. Um, this was also sent in by a sub. Uh, this was sent in by Boris. Um... So, thank you very much, Boris, for sending this in. Um, and obviously covering a mod. So he's doing two things for me. He's giving me a replay, and he's also covering a mod for me that I was going to cover. So, I mean, Boris is trying to take my job, it would seem. But here we go. The dwarves have uh, have come onto the onto the walls. They are on the walls, and they are now in the middle of the fight. And it looks like some Axe Warriors of the Far East. And they're up against some Dunedain Knights. Yeah, and yeah, they're at the walls. They're about to land over here as well. I mean, is it land or would you, what would you say? Just on the walls? It's sort of a landing, I guess. I mean, here come the, here come more popping off. They do look. I mean, they look. Some of them look taller than others, but they are still all very look, much smaller than men. They look goddamn awesome, and they're very easy to distinguish because they are so bright red. They remind. They look almost like little Santas a bit. Uh, which reminds me of that uh, battle I did ages ago with, San uh, with Santa Elves and men. That was kind of weird, but it was also kind of funny. If you haven't seen that, do go and check it out. It's definitely a good video to check out. Also, something to check out whilst um, you have time is check out the Papal Legion Discord. If you want to be part of uh, the Papal, well, 
obviously if you subscribe to part of this people legion but if you want to uh, have influence in the people legion and what's um going on the channel um you can vote in future uh, let's plays and you can also send in replays or take part in battles so you have another way of influencing the channel in that form so i'll leave a link in the description and you guys go and check it out if you have time or if you have discord or both you must is you're obligated legionnaires i'm joking i'm joking but it looks like um the dwarves are on the um on the walls and well established here it looks like the dunedain really just gave up this whole area um not really looks kind of gonna set up anymore over here look, look like cool. okay there's another ram here are they gonna go for a second gate oh there is some stuff waiting at this one there is a lone um dunedain knights with spears and can would the camera permit me to look at this one no God damn camera. You know what? The the real enemy, the true enemy is the camera. And until I really should have got put some camera mods on. But I didn't think it would be necessary. I thought Constantinople, you know, this map would work perfectly fine. But no, I'm still not allowed to look at three gates. But I'll tell you what I can look through. And that porthole there. Look at that. It's chock-a-block with men. Chock-a-block. But I mean, it looks like... The Dunedain have been spamming out these Dunedain knights with either spears or swords. I don't know what the budget was, but clearly it's just high tier stuff because of the size of the armies I'm looking at and also just the quality. I mean, the dwarves barely lost any men. Uh, the Dunedain have lost nearly about 100. So it looks like, I can no wonder it's going to be a long siege. But neither side's really like losing any men. I mean, look at the oil. It didn't even kill any of them. They just got bloodied up. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous. These dwarves are goddamn powerful. And yeah, look again. I don't even think... Actually, no. There's a lot of dead dwarves back there. I take it back. They're not as powerful as they first thought. But they do really need to get through this gate. They need to really take the top of the gate. And uh, basically just to save their comrades from just like burning up alive. Shame they can't get any uh, crossbows up on the wall. Because that would really help get the... Uh, well, the Dunedain off the wall. Because look, this is what the Dunedain are going to do to them. They're just going to uh, put volley after volley into these poor, poor, into the flank of these poor, poor dwarves. God, oh my gosh. That is harrowing. That is, I mean, you can barely tell who's alive and who's dead. I mean, and where they're spattered with blood because they're just covered in red armor. But, I mean, so much red armor, blood, corpses. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this unit is going to get absolutely destroyed. They're already at half strength. But, I mean, yeah, these, let's get their point of view. Let's get the Dunedain Ranger's point of view. It's not very clear because of the trees. God damn it. But yeah, they can just about see those dwarves up there. Like, that is what they're aiming at. All the way up there. They're, it's not even a clear shot now. They are having to, like, arch their shots. They arc their shots, that's what I mean. But I mean, yeah, I mean... <sighs> I guess the plus of having fewer men in the unit is it's a lot harder to kill them now because they're all pinned against this wall on the far side, but... Look, I mean, they're still getting a few every volley. It is ridiculous. They're down to less than 50 now. They're going to need to send up some more men of the dwarves. Um, don't know if they're going to send up some of these grim hammers, try and get them through the walls. Um, does look like they're now going to try and knock down this gate. Is this gate? Yeah, there we go. It's, yeah, about nearly half strength. Um, but, I mean, they also have... Well, they've got more stuff up here. I mean, I think the dwarves will overpower the men in combat. I mean, looking at, like, the corpse on the ground, there's a lot of dead Dunedain, barely any dead dwarves. It is really going to come down to their, like, look, they've lost six men, this unit's lost, well, well, a lot more than six, it's losing, losing decisively now, it's lost nearly, well, it's lost over 30. These archers are what are saving them, really, at the moment, like, again, on this side, look at this, it's ridiculous. But they've destroyed the gates, okay. Can we, uh, have a look at this cool formation, then? Are they going to have to pull back the ram for? And of course, the rams just disappear in this game. I forget. They're going to go through, but look at that. That is nasty. And here come the dwarves and the oil. Oh, God. Yeah. Poor dwarves. Yeah. Kind of just got to get through it if you're going to fight these men. But there we go. They're going to fight it out now. That's very nice. Very nice to see. Um, I mean, they've got more axe warriors ready just... To do the dash across, I guess. But it looks like they're sending up some axe, more axe warriors. They do need to send more up. They are running out of stuff on the walls. Unfortunately, these first few units are just going to have to soak up the ammo. Um, so the following units have a chance. But, I mean, 
They've lost a lot more now of the uh, dwarves. They've lost over 400, and the well, Dunedain lost just about 200. So, and they are now outnumbered of the dwarves. But I still believe in the dwarves. They have, well, their units are elite. They are just so elite. They barely like one on one. The dwarves win. It seems. It is like I said. It's going to require these archers to get a lot of kills. They're going to need to save some out. It's like I wouldn't see. There's no point shooting these guys anymore. These guys are out of battle. Like this Dunedain unit will mop them up now. It's, you want to save ammo for all those dwarves back there. That, I mean, they can see some, but not many. Yeah, you want to save the ammo for them. I mean, look at the devastation these archers have done. That is ridiculous. Looks like there's going to be a lot of fighting on these walls to come. But yeah, I think these dwarves are called like the Orkani. I've just like had a quick look um, while this battle's kind of like going on. I think they're called like the Orkani or something like that. I think that's like a tribe of like. A group of dwarves, a tribe, I don't know what you call them. A kingdom, I guess. But yeah, I, I guess they, the Orkani were in the Red Mountains. I'm, again, I'm not quite sure where that is. I presume it's in the east, probably near like somewhere like Khand or um, the Varigs or somewhere like that. I don't. Somewhere like that, I'm not sure. Or the Eastlings, I don't know. But um, either way, they're getting killed quite easy by this goddamn uh, oil and uh, the. the the camera is still annoying me, put it like that. But they have a lot of men ready. I mean, the Dunedain have just got far too much here. They're not even going to stand a chance, these poor Dunedain, getting through this. I do feel sorry for the Orc. Uh, I'm about to say Orc player, but it's not an Orc. I wouldn't have any I wouldn't have any problems with this many Orcs dying. But Dwarves, you know, poor Dwarves. They, they go, they've gone through a lot. They've lost, mount they've lost mountains to dragons. and They're small, so they get bullied by the rest of Middle-earth. So it's a bit harsh on them, but you know, that's just life, I guess, life as a dwarf. You're just not quite as good as a man, because you don't get beaten up by dragons and you don't get bullied for being small. I don't know. I've Having finished my dissertation, um, which, yay, I finished my dissertation, <laughs> um, it is uh, all the energy is now put into the into my videos, but it's just like it's like a sigh of relief. And also, like, God, I'm so tired now from doing it. And I think when, I, when I'm recording this, it's like 1 in the morning. So I'm sort of trying to be quiet while also talking loud enough so you guys can hear me. Got to gotta, uh, balance it. But, I mean, these are Dunedain really should hold their fire. There's no point. Actually, well, I don't know. This is a pretty fresh unit. Yeah, maybe actually, I don't know. Be handy if it wasn't on the siege tower. I kind of just want to... How many men are they left? Oh, yeah, they, they probably do want to carry on kill, killing those guys. Uh, if they could get a tower over here, they just need one tower here and they'd actually be okay. They'd do very, very well. Oh, they got some onages. Ooh. I'd use this ammo. I don't know if they're bugged out, but I mean, I'd use this ammo. I mean, they can't really see much. Focus it over there, possibly. They're going to need to set up some more stuff. The dwarves are running out, I'd say. They keep running out as well. It's a bit worrying. Like, look at all these guys down here. And they're just, like, in choke points. Like, there's... Like, I don't want to be harsh on the dwarves, they just needed more men, or the Dunedain needed less. But there's still a long time left in this battle, it would seem. Like, something's going to happen. Something drastic must happen soon, for the dwarves, like, the dwarves must be able to come back in. This is the first time I've seen this video, um, so I don't know what's happened. But it does look like, I mean, the dwarves look like they are making some ground, like, they are killing these Dunedain, but they're not killing them quick enough. And they're dying a lot quicker, like, I mean, I say that, oh, yeah, they're not actually, I can't see many falling now to the volleys, there's one or two, but not in, like, the multitude they were dying to earlier, they've got a worse angle to shoot at these guys, it's on a higher section of the wall, but there we go, here's the grind, the stabbing and jabbing of, uh, axes, I don't know why you're jabbing your axe like it's a spear, but you are. But yeah, surely the dwarves have more. I mean, I can barely tell. I mean, there's... I, pre I can see everything, I'm pretty sure. And there's only three units of Grim, ha Grim Hammers. More Grim Hammers. There is a lot of Grim Hammers, in fairness. Oh my gosh, are these all Grim... No, there's a few more Axe Warriors. Surprised you to bring more spears. You might need them late game. They are very elite, I've just realized. Like, they have three chevrons. Jeez. Um, and this is a two chevron. Two gold chevron. Put it like that, just to remind you guys. 
More Grim Hammers. Yeah, they're going to have to surely be able to break through at some point. But they're also going to run out of ammo. So I presume as soon as they run out of ammo, they're in trouble. I mean, this... Yeah, they need to get these guys away from the wall. They are not needed here. The dwarves aren't here, are they? No. I did, did think, I saw these units on the minimap and I was like, why are they over here? The dwarves aren't over here as well, are they? But no. But they're fighting it out for Constantinople for some strange reason, some bizarre reason. They are running out of ammo and they're not even shooting, like, with a clear line of sight. But they are cheering as they've clearly defeated the dwarves here. Yeah, they're breaking. Oh, no. Come on, dwarves. Hold strong. For all that gold that you have and your mountains. I mean, they're jumping around cheering. There's actually still about probably a dozen dwarves in there. They could take out your ankles. They take out your ankles, if they, even if they've got like half a chance. Like this guy here, he's not even looking at them. He's not even giving them like the the dignity of just like that they're good warriors. Oh, that was a nice little kick there. Oh, is he going to finish him? Oh, nice. Oh, what a nice animation that was. Not, him not so much, he just kind of rolled over there. But there we go. That was a good kill, sir. Yeah, now he's thinking, why did I do that? I'm going to be scarred for life. But yeah, it looks like the walls are... I'd say almost clear, but there's still two sections. The dwarves have uh, got their little feet in. But they're going to need to send more forward more. Oh, here we go. Okay, the first unit of Grim Hammers is going forward. These guys are going to be pretty susceptible to arrows, and these are the sort of guys that you want to kind of have left ammo for. Because these guys will, uh, I mean, they're very, very good. Are they shooting at them? Yeah, I think they are trying to shoot them. I think these two units here are trying to shoot them over the wall. I could be wrong. But these guys are going to punch through uh, armor. I mean, but in prolonged melee, I do fear for them a bit. But then all of the uh, dwarven units axes. So I don't know. Maybe they don't have that debuff for prolonged melee. Who knows? But these Dunedine, they've held for ages. And these poor dwarves can't get through. They just cannot get through. Like, and I would stop sending men through this gate. Like, this is just not being successful. I can't even see many dead Dunedain down there. If you died in this Dunedain unit, yeah, they've lost, okay, they've lost about 20 men. And they've lost hundreds going through this breach. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Like, it's same one over, over here, I bet. I bet they've, they've piled two units of spears in here. This one looks a bit more... Yeah, I mean, this actually... They are losing this this fight here. Oh, Grim Hammers are going through here. Okay, this this could be helpful. Grim Hammers going through. They'll punch through some of this armor and some of these lines. But, I mean, look at this. Look at this thick line here. God, the Dunedain look good, though. Okay, so some of the archers are now running out of ammo by the sounds of it. Um, it looks like the General's coming forward now to shoot his all his arrows. I expect you to not miss a single shot. These are Grey Company. Okay, so yeah, okay, here we go. Grey Company Rangers. These are the sort of elite boys we expect to see. What's their line of sight looking like? It's not too bad. Yeah, they look like they're doing a lot of damage up there. I can see, saw a lot of blood spiraling. Here we go, another little volley, go on. Loose. Can I have a loose there? Surely I, I can hear arrows going off. No, you've given up, okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Yeah, they didn't actually kill anyone that time. They were, some of the dwarves even looked around and were like, Who did that? Who just breathed on us? But yeah. Oh, yeah. The oil's not even getting the dwarves now. It's not even effective. They've killed that many dwarves that the, the remaining dwarves are just safe and free of the oil. So maybe it's now it actually is better to keep this Dwarven unit just here. It's no better going backwards, so it might as well carry on forwards. That's the Dwarven style. Oh, okay, a couple have got behind. Go on, take this guy out. Take this guy out. Take his ankles out. Cripple him. The other guys are just like, Come on, Jerry. You can beat these two midgets. Take him out. I mean, now's the perfect time. How are you not killing this guy? He's literally like... 
He's been two teams and he's been hit in the back. And now he's going to hit him. No, okay. Yeah, oh no, he's got knocked back. Well, if they're still alive, I mean, it looks like a few of their other friends have died on the way, but if they're still alive when we're back, then that'll be pretty impressive. Oh my gosh, the blood spot. The, yeah, these Grim Hammers are getting ripped to shreds. How are these guys still alive? My gosh, so many dying. Oh god. Like, look at this guy, he's littered with arrows. Literally one more hit and I bet he dies. He's also in a perfect spot. There you go. Only needed a couple more and he died. Jesus. Calm down, Dunedine. At least he got a kill. Nice kill. That's what that's the Grim Hammers we love and love to see. Taken names, but I mean, a lot of their names have been taken right now. Not so good. My gosh, this is disgusting. It's not even fair. It's not actually even fair. I mean, they are starting to do some friendly fire, which is how the Grim Hammers getting a few kills, I think. Well, that is disgusting. Those two dwarves are still alive. Yet to even kill anyone. But hey, but luckily for the dwarves, they are running out of ammo. They're... I mean, there's still more coming up. Another fresh unit with full ammo. This unit's still got ammo. The general's still about on, like, a third left. The dwarves are really, really running out of men. They're 400 behind. Um, the junior don't have about 1,900 left. Okay, they're pulling back. I wouldn't have done that. You need... Because now you're just letting yourself get shot in the back by the arch towers. Oh, I don't know. You should have just... They needed a tower here. They needed to get a tower up here to support because this is only a nice little spot to go for. Because this whole area here is destroyed and ruined. There's only this one lot of towers you go for here. And then you uh, overwhelm it with men down the sides. But you just need to attack from every front if possible. And um, they've not done that because it's allowed these Dunedain just to kind of sit quite happily here. But they're sending up more troops. Looks like it's going to oh more axes of the Far East. They are running out of stuff though. And the Junior Dine don't look like they're going anywhere. I don't even think they've lost a unit yet. Poor men. Poor, poor men. I mean, look at this. They're getting just surrounded. These Junior Dine Rangers now coming up to kill these axe warriors. Squishing them between some Junior Dine swords of their own. Imagine being a dwarf in this scenario. You won't want to be a dwarf in this scenario. You'd be contemplating why you were here. You'd be like, why are we not in our mountains counting our gold pieces? There's no need to fight the men. Unless they're evil men. Here we go. I'm pretty sure I can hear some more dwarves coming up the ramp. Let's watch these guys drop down. Come on, get drop down and get a few kills. Yeah, they... This, these guys are looking at like, oh, what's that? What? What can we hear? In a minute, here they come. They're coming up. These men are just gonna be like, these dwarves are just like, okay, time to get go to business. And in we go, jumping down. Plop, 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 plop. <laughs> it's just. It dropped so far down, that can't be good for your legs, especially in armor. But here we go, they're going to push these guys back a bit. These Dunedain Rangers, they're uh, certainly going to have a tough time of it now. And they'll hopefully be able to support their fellow dwarves. I mean, they're in a pretty rough spot. But yeah, it's not. What, what can you do as the dwarves now? I mean, they're sending up more axes to the Far East. They seem to have, I thought they only had two units of these left, but they've got a few more. But... They are in a really rough spot. As the dwarves, I would not know what to do. And the balance power is slowly shifting in favour of the men. As that is to be expected at this point. I, this Junior Lions Knights has been in it since the beginning. They're only just down to 45. And these ones down to 58. And they've killed all these dwarves. And obviously with the help of the archers, but... Jeez. That is nasty. And now they go in. They're going to try and kill some more. Have they got any arrows to support them? No, they don't. Okay, that will be a bit more t tricky then. I would remove some of these archers over there to try and help support that fight. Because that's a fresh unit of axes.
And you're likely to get more success with a fresh unit of axes than you are with, like, all these guys. In fairness, all these guys are right by the side, so, I mean, they are also a good target. You could break all these guys quite easily. I mean, look at this unit here. 37. It's still in the fight. I mean, they are elite. But, I mean, the poor dwarves haven't been able to kill a single unit off yet. Dunedain Rangers. They're going to go into the fight now, apparently. They've had enough of shooting at long range. They've, they're going to join the fight. I just wonder how this has still got so long left to run. Like, this can't have this long left to run. The, the dwarves have got to send everything else up. They've got about six units left. Unless the Dunedain all of a sudden are going to start dying just spontaneously. <laughs> this is just nasty. I hate to see it. Hate to see this many dwarves die. Oh god, I apologize. Wrong one. There we go. There we go. Now we've got a nice little view. I mean, we can't really see many Duna dying. I can't like this view. The Arch Towers, I'm sure, are also doing just as much damage. This little red enclave here is getting a bit bigger, though. I like to see some progress by the dwarves. These Grim Hammers are doing a lot of damage. I'm sure they're getting killed quite often. No, actually, they're just avoiding the oil as well. It's getting so bad over here that they sent in some Dunedines to try and deal with it. There is actually a lot of dead Dunedine down there. Look at the layer of dead Dunedine. That is nasty. Maybe these Grim Hammers can do it. And some Axes to the Far East as well in there. But it looks like they don't break until very late on, do these dwarves. They look very hardy. 14 left. Oh, I say that just as he... Just as the unit breaks. I mean, they are down to four, in fairness. Yeah, these guys really need to get a move on and get up. But, I mean, what is left? I mean, I know there's all this out here, but... Surely not. The amount of time that's left. Come on, all uh, orcs! Oh no, I'm just, I, it's stuck now. I said it once, and it's gonna stick on. Come on, dwarves! Don't care about those damn orcs. They've got no lives. Dwarves, though, they do they matter? They live for a very long time, so they can't waste their lives being shot by arrows. But you had been, you like just left your mind for the first time in a hundred years. They get shot in the face with an arrow. I'd be so mad. I'd be just mad anyway for just getting shot in the face with an arrow. Generally, it wouldn't have to even be a dwarf. Like, look. I, I, what can you do? I mean, these guys just need crossbows. Get these. If they got crossbows up on these walls, it'd change it. It'd be a game changer. They'd, like, over here, just get crossbows up, set them up. They'd take these guys down. And also, they're crossbows. They're meant to be on walls. It's meant to be. Just have a look at this. Oh, it gets very, very quiet. If I, and then all of a sudden, very loud, and that's all. There, let's have a look. I mean, you look at them. They're they're, they're getting through. It's taking them at least 20 minutes to do this. Shows how good the Dunedine are. And excuse me, why you don't need them? Uh, like so, well, don't need them. Do need them, obviously, but why don't? need so many because only a few of them they'll hold like a choke point for ages like i was expecting like the length of this video that we'd be off the walls by now apparently not surely the dwarves gotta get off the walls soon and another unit breaks for the dwarves it's just becoming very repetitive in what's happening here they are breaking the... Uh, we're not breaking, but they are winning decisively against this Dunedain unit. They must have broken that... Um, oh, they must have broken that Archer unit, I just realized, that was here. I mean, it looks like they took a lot of casualties. I don't know if they're broken. Oh, they might be, actually. They actually might be. But, I mean, whatever the case is, they're getting absolutely mauled by these poor guys. The Archers that still have ammo... 
Um, I'd love to be one of them. And definitely wouldn't want to be a dwarf. So would you guys want to see a red mountain dwarf battle against Erebor and see which dwarf dwarven faction comes out on top? I kind of would. I'd like to see. I mean, I think obviously we'd have to wait until they'd had an update so they had a larger roster. But I think these uh, dwarves are pretty damn hardy. Uh, possibly as hardy as the other ones. I'm not sure. Last time I played Erebor, it was a pretty close run thing with um, the orcs. But I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe it'll be closer. I'm sure that with these two very elite units, like with Grim Hammers for both sides, like Grim Hammers versus Grim Hammers, heads will roll. Okay, camera, what's going on here? There we go. Oh no, the two, a couple of orcs, uh, orcs, I've said it again. The couple of dwarves are back here. They're uh, they're dead. That's a shame. And they're getting pinned against the wall now by spears. This is horrible. Imagine you're just like back here. Just like, oh no, you're just here. Just like it's like um, in Game of Thrones when they're pinned with their backs against the wall against the dead. You're just like we gotta get out. We gotta get out some way or another. Well, if I was going to be stuck in a hard place like that, I'd want a dwarf by my side. No pesky man or elf. Now, please, dwarves, send up some more men. Or dwarves, whatever you want to call them. More units. They just need to send more up. They need to send the rest in. There's only a thousand of them left, really. A thousand one hundred. And there's still sixteen hundred men. Jeez, how does it go so long? I'm going to just fast forward a little bit. Just for the benefit of this, I kind of want to see what happens. Like, I mean, that dwarven unit there is gone. I might make a cut just to see whether they get off the walls. Um, or whether they send more stuff in. Because this is insanely long and they don't even look like they're going to get off the walls at this point. One step at a time, dwarves. One ankle at a time. Swipe them out. Chop them down to size. These disgusting men. Jesus, there's one. You get it, knock him down. Someone hit him in the back. Put an axe in his back. Oh my gosh. That dwarves on fire. Oh, it's a shame. That man got up as well. But they don't look like going to send anything else in anytime soon. It's ridiculous. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, make a cut here. For the benefit of you guys, I'm gonna see what happens a little bit further down the line. Cut it maybe a little bit. See whether the dwarves send any more stuff in anytime soon. Whether they can get off the walls as well. Um, obviously, you will see the end of the battle. Uh, whatever happens, I just want to cut it down because this is all very very saving. I want to see whether they send more stuff up and they get through the walls okay so you can see it's been a very small cut um looking at the time i may do another one before then but they have sent in um one of their elite units of the axe warriors of the far east i mean they're kind of just getting wasted being killed by these uh these boiling oil barrels up here and then they're also sending in some more grim ha hammers over here um definitely needed uh, if they're going to even try and get through here. They need to send stuff up on this one and try and surround all this stuff here. That could be huge, actually. If they could get all of this stuff, that would not be game-changing, but it would be huge. It certainly move the balance of power back in the favor. But, I mean, they're, apparently they're still in the Dwarven favor. Don't know whether that's true. I mean, I guess the General's on 40 men. And, like, they have so many archers. But these Dunedain just seem just as what good a match for the dwarves. I mean, they are fighting choke points, yes. But they seem like still good enough matches to, like, face them one-on-one. -on -one. 
Like, the dwarves probably had the advantage ever so slightly, but I mean, they've got so few men now. I don't think they could do it. I don't think. I mean, with the arch towers, you've got to take them into effect. They're not using the balance of power. Like, it's insane. Like, the, the mountain they have to climb. And dwarves love mountains. And even they don't want to do that. Poor dwarves. More men going up. Grim hammers this time. They look like they're going to be going through the breach in the wall. Well, not the wall, the gate. I guess it's sort of a breach in the wall, but it's not. Uh, more Grim hammers here. Looking like they're getting ready to go up as well. It does look like it's going to be the uh, the turn of the spear guards going up. To look at them. They've even got red spears. I don't know if that's any good. You can't tell whether you killed anyone then. No blood on your spear, just red. Yeah, uh, what have they got here? More Grim Hammers here. They really need to send them all up. Just send everything in at this point. I mean, look what's left. Like, the poor, poor guys. Oh, yeah, they just moved. Balance Power just saw it. Look at it. It's, you can slowly see it's moving. Yeah, oh, it's gone back on their feather a bit now. The dwarves, for some reason. But they've now got less than a thousand uh, dwarves of the dwarves. They're not men. I shouldn't, I shouldn't call them men. They wouldn't like that. I mean, they have taken a lot of Dunedain with them, so they are they are not to be underestimated, these guys. But, I mean, they just look at this. They can just send up Dunedain Rangers if they fancied it. And they're going to. The General's got to go soon. I mean, there are two units left of Grim Hammers to go in. But, God. It's not even worth it. Like, this is the only area where they sort of made some progress. They killed a lot of guys here. But they're running out of so many men, or dwarves. There's only like 50 of them left in this small pocket. Just give up. Just give up. It's not worth it, dwarves. You need a sword, because, I mean, right now it looks like as long as you've got a bow and arrow, you're perfectly fine fighting these dwarves. Whoever's asking for a goddamn sword. God. It's an axe at best. Um, there are no standards in this game, mate. Um, yeah, don't know why. To be honest, it'd be kind of cool to see some standards. Like, certainly the elven ones are pretty good. Okay! The first time, I think, in this game, there's a Dunedain unit wavering. At 14 men. 14 frickin' men. There's another one at 16 that's left. You're kidding me. These guys just... That is insane. Look how many poor dwarves have to die just to make this unit waver. Disgusting. Is this the fresh unit? Yeah, this is the fresh unit of Grim Hammers as well. Okay, that could be huge. I mean, I still think send so this unit up here surrounding these guys. Then... Where could you come down? Where can you come down and here that avoids just going into that here but I mean there's so much doing the line stuff on the wall I mean they actually are winning here are the or uh, orcs not orcs dwarves the good orcs the small just as small as orcs jeez that was like a, a small explosion there it was like I don't know a frag going off how you could block with this hammer Also, why would you make a hammer this big? It's just not practical unless it is going to be a war hammer. Just, just quiet over here. Peace and quiet. And then you go down here. And all you hear is death. Death to all the men of the Dunedain. I've, I've got to support the dwarves. They're the under, underdogs in this. The balance of power would say otherwise. Still thinks... I mean, it's pretty damn close. Okay, I'm going to make another little cut. Um, see whether the dwarves can do a thing. I mean, they are running out of stuff on the walls of the Dune and Dine. They are going to send up more stuff. I mean, like they have a shortage. They can just send up a fresh unit of footmen. Oh, actually, wait a minute. These are footmen. So these aren't as good as the Dune and Dine Knights. There's hope. There is hope. 
There he is. Okay, well, we'll make a cut, and I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so we're back. Uh, again, a very small cut because all of a sudden, the dwarves pushed through. I'm not sure how they've done this, but they've managed to get through the front line. Look at this. And now they're just hacking these guys down. These guys, are, I think, are losing decisively. Yeah. And now I'm going to make a second line. I mean, it's not... It's got a gap here, guys. You kind of need to sort that out. Is there another unit? Yeah, oh, okay, here we go. Another unit. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the Dune died out far too much. If, to make this an interesting siege, they definitely needed to have a smaller army than the dwarves. But, I mean, the dwarves are nearly in. The dwarves are nearly in. And um, some units over here have died. Just thought I'd say. There's this just archers now fighting here. So they could get in here. And it's probably a smart move to bring up that last unit of Grim Hammers. Support over here. I would probably even send in that final unit of Grim Hammers here. Because you can encircle this. Encircle this lot here. Then you've just got... Well, you've not actually got much left for the Dunedain. This is all they've got, really. They're running out. And these dwarves are pretty damn hard to beat. I don't know. It's going to be close, put it like that. I still think the Dunedain will, will clinch this. I want the dwarves to, but I think they, will, they won't get a chance. Just look at this. They've just been surrounded. Oh, so the difference in footmen, I mean, they all look the same in, like... Uniform, but they've got different shields. They've got not as they've got more basic shields But yeah, these dwarves now look at that. They're just let's get a bit of an aerial view like look at that. They're just penned in penned in Yeah, I would not want to be look at all the death down here. They finally broke through this front line Looks like these rangers are just about dealing... Well, actually, they're surrounding all these dwarves. I wouldn't even know if the dwarves are winning. No, it's combat even. Like, see, they're, they're quite happy being surrounded. They do not mind being surrounded. But I would say this is a good spot here. This is very promising for the dwarves. Grim hammers and uh, uh, axe warriors in. They'll probably take out all these archers. I mean, apparently, one's losing decisively, one is even. They really need to get out soon because this arch tower will rack up kills otherwise. Um, but yes, I would, I'd probably just send in the last two units now. What else can you do? I wouldn't send them through this breach though. So much stuff there. You need to take the walls and then you can... I don't know, use the arch tower. Actually, you can't use arch towers against them in this game, can you? No, uh, I don't know then. Men are breaking. Okay. Oh, an, a unit of... Dunedain Knights. It's a very, very small unit of Dunedain Knights. Because both sides are just going to go fight to the end. Which is ridiculous. But it does look like... Oh no, they are still surrounded. I was about to say it looked like they'd lost this unit. But no, they're still here. Come on, Dwarven General. You can come in. You can do this. Come join the battle. These archers are nearly dead, though. Come on, Dwarves. Then we might finally actually get into the sea. Oh, nice kill. Throw him over your back. Oh, go on. Oh! You just beheaded that guy with a hammer? That takes some skill, sir. Yeah, these guys are really losing now. There's about five or six of them left. Oh, maybe there's a few more. There's not many. They're basically through here. Oh, he's got another kill with a, a, a beheading. It's now the arch towers the only reason why they're staying in this fight. Men are broken and are fleeing. That's got to be... Okay, that's here. That's here. Oh, well... I presume it's the other arch unit just broke. And there is one now left remaining. So they are in over here. That is huge. Um, I'm not sure what they're doing with these guys. Are they going to send these archers down and then round? I would just leave this whole area. Maybe choke it off with your general. I'm not sure. Not much you can do. But, I mean, if you take this... Um, yeah, there you go. The, tower, the gate's been destroyed. I just go through here now. Send the rest of your army through this gate over here. They've got it. That's it. The dwarves are in. It's only taken them like a whole 40 minutes, but they're actually through. 
credit to this Dwarven player for carrying on and like just... Can he sneak up on this um, general, I wonder? This general won't be great in fight. He's a medium bow infantry. I'm sure that's probably the same as the... Yeah, medium bow infantry. They do not fare well against these axes. So I bet you this general's uh, in trouble. And this, um, this... Oh my gosh! It's very close. And I mean, lots of the Dunedain units are made up of swords. And are made up of archers. So obviously, first there's the major threat of... Like, the general here these two units, but also then encircling all of this. Could be huge. Oh, I think the dwarves got a good chance now. But they really need to send these last two units in over here. They really need to, like, or certainly the general. Send the general round. Because, like, this is for the taking. I mean, these dwarves are now breaking, though. That's not great. Oh, no. That's not what we needed. I mean, that dwarven unit needs to, they need to send this Grim Hammer unit up there to go and just save like, any chance. They need to keep occupying these units. Because, look, they're coming down now. They are coming down. They're getting ready to deal with these guys. The general's going in. Here we go. This could be huge. I think the general's going to die here. I haven't watched... Like I said, I haven't watched this replay, so I don't know. But I'm pretty sure the general's not got a good chance here. Like, they are rough. At these Grim Hammers. They take a beating. They they're already killing a few of them. Yeah, they are in for a rough... I don't think these guys are going to get there in time. And if they are, they're more bowmen. And... They'll happily take these bows on. Oh my god, there's a lot of bowmen rat scrambling. Are they all ammo? No. Okay, there's a... Yeah, they got bad sword. Yeah, there's nothing here that's any impressive. And now the general can get up. I would have sent the Grim Hammers in probably first. But the general and the Grim Hammers... I mean, send both up. Send both up here. And then sur like they'll come down on this bit. And they can surround that. And then that's GG. That is GG for uh, Dunedain. But yeah, they're losing decisively. Or losing. Not decisively yet. They're taking their time in helping out their general. They are really taking their time. Where is the general? I mean, so many of these guys have no helmets on, so it's hard to tell. I'm guessing he's this one here with the shield. Yeah, he's actually, yeah, he probably is this one with the shield. He's not even that bloodied up yet. He's probably quite safe. And now lots of men are around him, so, yeah, he's pretty safe now. These Grim Hammers really need to, uh, start coming through them. Oh, smart by the uh, Dunedain player here, surrounding the Grim Hammers. If you're going to shock troops, they're great head-on, but they do not like being flanked. And there you go. I mean, like, they're losing decisively now. And both of them are. They are not going to like that. I mean, definitely need to get these guys up. They've lost one unit. Oh, my God. These, these guys are elite. Three gold chevrons. Send them the other Grim Hammers, though. There's no point. If you're going to send the general in now, there's no point keeping them around. Um, but, it, yeah, if you've got this far in the, in the siege... Well done to you. Um, you're now starting to see it hot up. You've gone through a long time of watching a grind happen. And we're now into the final stage. It's getting exciting. We've got a little bit of a flank going on over there. The dwarves are nearly through here. I mean, I don't think they'll get through it any time. Look at the thickness of this line. That is a thick line with three Cs. I like how there's some dwarves surrounded down here. So, yep. I'm not quite sure how this happened, but it did. But, I mean, you would have thought, oh, this guy's going to die. Yes, yes, you just asked for your death there. Yeah, that was stupid, son. How are the dwarves doing over here? Not so good now. They definitely look thinner. There's a lot more dead on the ground for them. Where's it? And the general's very safe back there. Oh, but they are on the walls now. And they've lost three men getting there. They need to send this other unit up. Send this other unit up. Send that one unit in to surround these guys and one unit down here to just finish off the general and what's left of his lackeys. I'm not... I'm surprised this arch unit survived so long as well. I mean, they're outnumbered as well. They really need to just press through. Press through this unit. It's cheesy, but at this point, it's got to be done. Here we go. The final Grim Hammer unit's been mobilized. Either send it through... Oh my god, look at that. Look, <laughs> just... Instantly under fire. It's got to be up here, surround this unit to free up these, or it's got to be oh, okay. So the spears are getting engaged here by oh, these guys are losing decisively. These footmen, jeez. I have a feeling they're going to shred them, aren't they? I mean, the dwarves still have the disadvantage in numbers, but apparently the advantage in quality. But yeah, they're just appearing and they're cutting these guys down. 
Okay, this is getting worrying now. And they're winning decisively, these guys here. Oh my gosh. These Grim Hammers look like they're going to go for the gate. Oh, don't send them through the gate. The oil will just destroy them. They need to go over the walls so you can surround this general unit over here. Like, this is insane. The general's losing decisively. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's turning in favor of the Grim Hammers, I guess. I don't know. It's close. I mean, this unit's now losing decisively. Everyone's losing. It's no one's going to win this anyway. There's so many dead. Um, but, I mean, look at that. The dwarves have really punched a hole in, like, the line here. They're really forcing them back. I don't think they killed many, but they're just forcing them back. And that's bad enough. Like, they were in a nice, solid line, but now, I mean, they've lost about six or seven men getting through this. Oh, no. Oh, they've lost nine if they, they have getting here. But, no, I don't want to see this. No, no, this is such a fresh unit. Look at that. It's such a waste. No, whoever did that, that was a bad decision. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't criticize. But that was a silly decision. I mean, they're breaking here. They are breaking. This is the make or break, if, in fairness. But just send them around here. Just send them up on the wall. Surround these guys. Free these guys up. And then you can just send everything in and you can circle. There we go. Another unit breaking for the Dunedain. Huge. Okay. You should imagine that this these guys head up 1v1 against this unit will win just because of numbers. These guys are also exhausted. They're fresh. Should happen. Grim Hammer's over here. It's not looking so good now. Oh, I really wanted this to succeed. I don't know why. I just did. I can't even see the general. Oh, he's actually he's in the front line. Oh, someone get a swipe at his ankles. Oh, he's asking for it now. He is asking for it now. Come on, just kill this man. He does not deserve to live. I mean, credit to both players. They have battled on hard here. This is a... This is a struggle. Oh! Oh, the Grim Hammers are breaking. No! No! Oh, that means this, this unit won't be long. Long for the world. Are they a gold chevron? My god. Oh, no, these are Axe of the Far East. All right, they're... Yeah, they're, they're gold chevron, but they won't stand. <laughs> the enemy have rallied their units. Oh, not good. But, I mean, they are losing decisively here. This general is going to be the make or break. But they really need to get these Grim Hammers in, because they keep dying to goddamn oil. Here we go. I mean, they're just forcing their way through now. Not such a good move. I mean, they are... Allied man count is now lower than the um, than the Dwarven count. That is not good. The Dwarves are slowly bringing this back. This comeback. I mean, if it's successful, it's a comeback, obviously. But it's looking good. It's looking good for these all. I mean, like I said, this general unit is going to be the huge one. I don't know where they're breaking now, though. Where are they breaking now? I guess more in the center? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're going to be able to surround it. This unit breaks. They can surround this final one. Then they just have to fight the general. Because this unit won't stand on its own. And it's losing decisively anyway. <gasps> Come on, dwarves. You can do this. I know they're now in the ascendancy. And I was supporting the under... I'm a support of the underdog. But the dwarves have not had a good chance the entire time. There we go. The shake of... The shake of the camera indicates that the dwarves have finally taken this goddamn gate and the... They're safe with the oil. But encircle these guys, come on. I beg. And, oh, they didn't leave the general to fight this Grim Hammond unit, did they? That's a stupid decision. I bet these Grim Hammond units going to break them, isn't it? It will. It'll kill that general now. It'll kill the general. But yeah, they're encircling these guys. They are not looking so fresh. They look so strong here. Look how many Dunedain have died. I mean, also dwarves. But look how many Dunedain died here. I thought they had this in the back. They had so many units of spears here. I mean, it's all at the walls. I mean, most Constantinople's always fall at the walls. You never really fight in the inner city. It's so big. You just... It's impossible, really, to use it. To defend it well and effectively enough. You need to hold the walls of Constantinople. If you lose them, you lose the city. Um... And, I mean, the walls aren't lost quite yet. They still hold some stuff. But, I mean, this is not a good sign. This is not a good sign if you're rooting for the Dunedain. 
Oh, and they've broken the archers up here. Yeah, these Grim Hammers are also free to do whatever they want now. Yeah, all of this. Oh, yeah, this is not looking good now. Imagine if they had a bit of ammo, though. Just a little bit of archer ammo would be do them wonders. But they did break that Grim Hammer unit. Come on, Dunedain. I don't know why I'm cheering you on. I've just... I hate to do all battle for killing dwarves mercilessly with your arrows. It's what you get. But, I mean... It's looking bad. It is looking bad for the dwarves. Oh, don't just fall back. Just carry on the attack order. There we go. Okay, they're dead. The final clash. And the general's leading the charge. For both sides. General versus general. I imagine if one ge Well, I say that. If the dwarves lose their general, I think they may still stand because they're so elite. But there's no ar There's only archers left for these... Uh, for these Dunedain, I think they'll break if they lose their general. What was that? And that something just what happened there? The men are losing faith. What happened there? Something fell off the wall and then just bounced down. I don't know if anyone else saw that, but I mean, there you go. I mean, the dwarves have already broken this one. It's just the general left. They're going to surround him, and that is going to be GG. Is looking pretty rough now. I'm, well, looking more than that. It's looking like the Dunedain are going to lose. And the dwarves of the Red Mountains will be victorious. It would be interesting to see who would win in a fight. The dwarves of the Red Mountains or the dwarves of Erebor. It'd be nice to see if um, he can edit the uh, armor as well but there we go ended there is the end of the battle valiant defeat for the Dunedain no surprise there but, I mean that was just it was well done by them I mean look at the amount of kills the archers got it's most of the archers got all these kills look at that I mean like the spears here did barely anything they just held them back for so long look, the archers getting like 205 209 insane very, very good. I mean, the dwarves here, the general joining the battle late, we're getting, still getting 129 kills. Grim Hammers, I mean, some of these died, most of these died, but like 281. Yikes. Uh, like 177, 189. Like some very good kills. 428. And they survived the battle. Wow. I mean, that's the thing you have to take in mind that like these guys haven't got as high kills, but they've like their arch towers have got so many kills as well. Um, so well done to Boris and the Holy Knight. Um, thank you, Boris, for sending this in. Um, well done to Holy Knight for winning this battle. If you want to look at the end results, there you go. But and until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now. I hope you've enjoyed. And until next time, see you guys later.